Hello everyone, my name is Rajesh and today I'm going to guide you how to install the Android VCOM driver on your Windows computer. So first of all, go to the description of this video, there you will find the link of this driver. You have to download the driver first, then you have to extract it on your computer. As you can see, I have already downloaded and extracted the driver on my computer. So let's quickly open the folder. Now in the folder, you will be able to see the following files. So in this video, I will be guiding you three methods to install the VCOM drivers on your Windows computer. First method is from the setup file. Second method is from the device manager. And third method will help you to install the INF file directly. So let's quickly begin with the first method. In the first method, double click on the install driver.exe file. Now as you can see drivers are installed on the computer successfully. Just click on the exit and you are done. So before proceeding to the second method, we have to disable the driver signature enforcement on our computer since the VCOM driver is not having any digital signature. So for that, we have to boot our computer into the troubleshoot menu. To boot into the troubleshoot menu, just right click on the start button and under shutdown, you have to select restart. But before clicking on the restart, we have to press and hold the shift button from our keyboard, then click on the restart. It will quickly boot our computer into the troubleshoot menu. Now select troubleshoot, advanced options, startup settings. Now click on the restart button. Now we have to choose the seventh option that is disable driver signature enforcement. We can choose it by pressing the F7 button from our keyboard. Now as you can see, the computer is restarted. Now everything is done and we are ready to install the VCOM drivers. Now open the driver folder. Now if you are on Windows XP then you have to copy the location of this folder. If you are on Windows Vista then we have to copy the location of this folder. If you are on Windows 7, 8. 8.1 or Windows 10 then we have to copy the location of this folder since I'm on Windows 10 so I will be copying the location of this folder by clicking on the address bar then right click and copy now right click on the start button and select device manager now select the computer name go to actions select add legacy hardware now click on the next button, select install the hardware that I manually select from a list, then click on the next button, again next, now click on the have disk button, now paste the location that you have copied, then click on the ok button, now we are ready to install the driver, since we have already disabled the signature issue. Click on the next button. Now click on the install this hardware software anyway. Now as you can see drivers are installed successfully. You don't have to worry about the code tin. All you have to do is just restart your computer and connect your MediaTek device to the computer and you will be able to use the device. So just click on the finish button and everything is done. As you can see the driver is listed in the port area. Now close the device manager and everything is done. You can restart your computer now. After restarting the computer you need to connect your MediaTek device to the computer and you will be able to use it.
In the third method, I will be guiding you how to install the INF file directly. This method will be useful if you are on Windows 8, 8.1 or Windows 10. So just open the driver folder, then open the Win7 folder. Now we have to install all these three drivers manually. So just select the INF file and right click and select install. Then select install this driver software anyway. Now as you can see drivers are installed successfully. We have to do the same procedure for the rest too. So as you can see all three INF files are installed on the computer. Now we have to restart the computer. After restarting the computer we will be able to connect our MediaTek smartphone, feature phone or tablets to the computer without having any issue. So if you like the video please give us thumbs up and do subscribe to the channel. Thanks and bye bye.